So on this episode, we are going to show you everything that we saw and experienced at the White Sands. White Sands National Park, White Sands National Monument. It literally has a sign that says both. Either way, it is part of the National Park Services. Anyway, here we go. Welcome. We are the Roving Vets. This episode, White Sands National Monument. Tell me that's not an incredible view. That is White Sands National Park ahead. We're about 10 miles from there right now at this spot. Look at this. This is up the mountain from the White Sands. You can see the White Sands National Park right yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. But this is up the mountain. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Look at this. It's beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. Got the sun about to set. We got Rob. Got the map. It's just gorgeous. Like, I have no words for the beauty of this place. I just, I really don't. It's so gorgeous. Can you see this? We are at White Sands National Monument, National Park, same thing, whatever. Say hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. <laughs> Goof. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. And it kind of looks silly a little bit. We're all in jackets out here because it is cold. Um, it's just time of year it is. But it almost looks like we're in sand, don't it? Not sand. <laughs> snow. It almost looks like we're in snow, my bad. I can't talk. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So, for some reason, Maverick thinks something is in this hole that he just has to have. Probably not smart. Yeah. That was not smart, was it, son? What do you think? This silly dog. So, we're about to walk up this one. Rob doesn't think it's going to be very easy, and it's probably not. <laughs> but... Oh, sorry. I'm not being very steady with the camera. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, look at the avalanche of sand. I'm, I'm going to do it. Look at the sand. It's an, I'm avalanching. Look, I'm avalanching. I don't I guess you can see it. Look, can you see the avalanche? Wanna go. Maverick is just like, look at him, he's already up there, he's like, what's taking you so long? Oh, he's got to run down, I guess. It's totally avalanche, and look, I don't know if you can see that. That looks so cool, though. <laughs> Maverick's like, this is a little hard. Oh, sorry, Mavs. I made it. He didn't believe me. He didn't believe I could do it. Okay, Rob, come on. Come on. Wow, it's beautiful up here. I am out of breath, though. I'm not going to pretend. Look at this. Baby, this is the spot for the picnic. Come on. Go that way. Since you're a little pansy. <laughs> He's just going to try to run. It avalanches. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous it is. I've got record breaking amounts of sand in my face. That is why, as silly as some people might think, I wore the Teva sandals. Gosh, it's so beautiful. We're gonna sit right here and have a picnic. Rob had to do it. He just had to. It's a happy dog though. He is happy. He is happy, happy, happy. Happy. Oh. <laughs> he is just gone. Oh my gosh. Maverick, come back here, buddy. Maverick, get back here. <laughs> oh, you struggle busting, ain't you? <laughs> I'm videoing. Go on. I ain't going. Uh -uh. I'm totally out of it. I'll walk down it. Come on, 
Oh. <laughs> oh wow. I'm not, I'm sure. Maverick, come back this way, buddy. You avalanche when you're going down. Look at this. He's out of breath. He's going to sleep like a champ tonight. He's already went up, what, three or four times? Maverick! Maverick! He's like, no, I'm tired. He's like, nope. I'm done. Well, I think we have another successful day in the books at White Sands National Park. Oh, I just can't get over the beauty of this. It's just... This is White Sands National Park in New Mexico. Absolutely gorgeous. There's somebody running. Man, it's hard to run in the sand. Look how beautiful those colors yeah, I are. Bet he's got calves for days. Oh, absolutely. He's got calves for wow. You can come around this big old hill of sand. There's the sunset. Well, it's already kind of over the horizon, but so pretty. This color is insane. I just can't believe how beautiful this is. Like, Describe the beauty of this place. It's just, and look at that sunset on that white. It's just so beautiful. Check out this beautiful sunset. Look, we are at White Sands National Park in New Mexico. I can't even. I got the Jeep with the kayaks on top. It is February, yes. Someone asked us, Where do you go kayaking out here? We said, um, We started in Tennessee. Now we're in New Mexico. We just brought them for wherever we want to go. Anyway, so the sunset yesterday at White Sands was so phenomenal. We decided to come back again. Round two. Round two. We're doing it again. Sunset out. Um, we got the math man wanting to ride with us. Tennis is not gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's like the ocean except no water <laughs> and mountains instead. Oh, Maverick's trying to save you. <laughs> he about jerked my arm off. Ready? Okay, go. Alright. I gotta get down. That was fun. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I am totally out of breath. Um, here comes Rob. You gotta come to the steep part like I did. <laughs> huh? Hang on a second. Yeah, that's good. You sit on, huh? Uh, sit like you're sitting up. Uh, yeah, it don't matter like that, yeah. Just get in and go. <laughs> you didn't go as fast as me, I don't think. Can you see the kayaks? And the Jeep? I don't know if you can see the Jeep. There's the kayaks on top. Yep. Sorry, I'm, I'm breathing a little bit. It's a little windy at uh, White Sands National Park. Area in New Mexico, sorry. Look at this. It's gorgeous as far as the eye can see. I can't even explain the beauty out here. No filter on this. Well, <laughs> haven't had a filter on any of them, but just in case anyone's curious. We've got Maverick and Rob down there. So you've seen us at the White Sands 
two sunsets. Now we decided we got to do it during the day because it's beautiful in the sunset, so it's got to be beautiful in the day too, right? So we came during the day showing you the boardwalk. We haven't been to the boardwalk yet because it's just too hard to... Off the beaten path. Yes, that much we do. So yeah, showing you the boardwalk today. So pretty out here. I do love lizards. So the boardwalk is not too far, so if you can't really do a lot, it's an easy walk. It's got your little shade zone too, just in case. It is really pretty out here. Day or sunset. You gotta see both. You have to see both. If you're coming here, you can't just do one or the other. You have to do day and sunset for sure. For sure, no doubt. I mean, we've thoroughly enjoyed. This by far is the, my favorite place on the trip so far. So, yeah. It's gonna be sad leaving almost. I could probably live in the town just because if you had a bad day, you could come out here and look. How could you not have a better day after just coming and seeing all this beauty? Like, absolutely gorgeous. So, White Sands, what do you need to know? What did we experience? What did we figure out that we might that might be beneficial to others? The boardwalk that you just saw, what would you say about the boardwalk? Um, the boardwalk was it's the only handicapped uh, accessible area of the park. Um, it was the only part that I would say is an easier walk um, if you can't get around as, as well in the sand because it's it's rough walking around out there um, in the dunes. Um, you saw how out of breath I was in lots of those videos and I know I was making most of them so you couldn't see Rob close up but it's one of those things would I say you have to be in tip top shape to do it? No. Do you need to be able to walk? Yes. You need to be able to comfortably walk distances in sand. So, would you say if if you are someone who might have ex have trouble with that, stick with the boardwalk? Yes, definitely. And the boardwalk, you know, it's not that long. You can't see just a ton. But it will actually get you out there over the sand. So, if you are having issues walking, mobility issues, we'll call it that. That's a better word. So, if you're having uh, mobility issues... You can drive through that whole park, but you can only see what you can see from your car, right? So if you get out on that boardwalk, you can go, it takes you probably at least, would you say a quarter mile or so, at least a quarter mile, mm -hmm. into the sands. So whereas you couldn't actually see it from your car, you can see it that way if you have mobility issues. Mm -hmm. um, and it does have a couple of areas of shade as well, and, there's, and that's at a premium. Yes. Out there. Uh, oh, but on that note... The white sands, what is it? It is gypsum. Mm -hmm. It is gypsum sand. It is not the sand that you see at the beach. So, in saying that, it doesn't get hot. It's cool to the touch. We went in February. We were there in February. So, it was cold for us cold. anyway. The sand was cold to the touch. But they did tell us that it's that cold all year round because of what the sand is made of. Um, it just doesn't ever get... <laughs> It doesn't ever get hot, which probably could be convenient. Oh, Maverick's getting down. Oh, the the parking lot. So the parking lot um, is kind of tight. Uh, if it's busy there, not somewhere you want to bring your RV in if you can help it. Um, the visitor center parking lot is big enough to turn around if you have a fifth wheel. But like I said, it was very busy and um, not an easy spot to turn around in. We just had to kind of wait until uh, the traffic cleared so we could get out. Yeah. Luckily, we, we weren't in a hurry or anything, so... Yeah, that's beneficial. Um, also, I wouldn't take my uh, rig into the um, National Park area either. Um, there's not really anywhere to set it up and use it out there, so... If you're wondering what that noise is, Maverick them. is trying to fluff his dog bed right now. He's just being a little princess. He's a fluffer. Um, <laughs> he got off the couch to go fluff his dog bed. Anyway, that's just... That's what that noise is. And they just had the big RV parking lots, and then they had the regular park, the regular parking. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> i tell you where you can't go, though, is White Sands Missile Range. You're definitely not getting in there. <laughs> uh, Ask 
ask is how we know. <laughs> Even if you ask real nice. Uh, probably not getting in that one. Yep. Um, where else We're we both veterans, so we typically can get on any military base easy. Um, well, we did go there during COVID because we wanted to see the museum because there's, there's apparently a museum there at the White Sands Missile Range. Well... They, you know, it's just like everything government, everything shut down during COVID. Even though we did this when COVID lockdown finally was lifted and people were traveling, they did still require masks in the gift shop. I say that because half the people were wearing them, half the people weren't. So I don't remember, I don't guess I got that on any of the gift shop on video. But we saw both when they were there. Um, whether it's still like that, I don't know. I think there is currently in 2023, I'm pretty sure still a mask mandate in government buildings. I only say that because the VA is what I use for health and I still have to use a mask there because they say it's a government building. Something that you might want to look at. What's something else that you would say? You can um, rent sleds to slide down the dunes. You um, saw that video. So we bought ours. I would just rent. It's not something that we're still carrying that thing around. We are. Or what? <laughs> well, we bought it because you could rent one and send it back. It was used, whatever. I haven't quite found another use for it just yet. Yeah, we have it. We'll check back with you. On yeah. That one. <laughs> so you could buy it or you can rent one. It wasn't that much more expensive to buy it. And so my thought was, oh, we're going to be here a few days. So definitely let's just buy one and we can maybe use it somewhere else we go. Well, we went from White Sands, New Mexico to Arizona. And so we didn't, we didn't have anywhere to use it in the snow. There was no snow, no anything. Sure there was. Well, you could have slid down the Grand there. Canyon. What else? All right. Oh, Bottomless Lake State Park. That's also going to be in New Mexico. And that's going to be on the Roswell video that we posted. We've already posted that one. So you can check that out if you're curious of the Roswell because there were a couple things that we did there besides just the alien stuff. And Bottomless Lake State Park was that. And it was pretty It was pretty neat. Some things you might want to know about what is close to White Sands. If you want to, or if you're thinking about going to the area, what all can you do there? Carlsbad Caverns. One of Rob's favorite places that, that we stopped. Like three hours away from there, wasn't it? Yes, but what I'm saying is if somebody's doing a road trip, say somebody's flying from New York or Florida or Washington State or somewhere overseas yeah. and they want to, and they're already that close, yeah. take the three and a half hour drive um, and go to Carlsbad. Yeah. It's a national park as well. You can get your little passport stamp there if you're doing that. But it's only three and a half hours. Mm -hmm. So if you're already in that area and you're from far away, absolutely do it because it's close. I, I will mean, say if you're going to go see one of those, go see both of them. They are worth the drive standalone. But there is nothing anywhere close mm -hmm. to either one of these. And I mean, he almost talked way, me out of doing Carlsbad. Or way one out. of the two. I can't remember which one. You're going to be hours, you know, <laughs> till anything out there. Yeah. We thought about skipping both of them. We did do Roswell. We Where's your phone? Also in New Mexico, if you're doing a New Mexico thing, Roswell, you know. Oh my aliens, I'm a space nerd, always have been. But Roswell was only a couple of hours. And I said straight up, if we were going through New Mexico, my space nerd butt was going to Roswell. And it's only a little over two hours from there to White Sands as well. Or to Carlsbad, sorry, from Roswell to Carlsbad. Make sure you check those out. But something right there that you can do easy is... Pistachio Land? Pistachio Land! The world's largest pistachio. Go get your picture made outside of it. They have little golf, like well, long golf cart, so you can walk in, explore it. That that whole store, the whole shop. You remember how that smelled? It was the sweetest smell, because uh, they did all kinds of stuff with those pistachios. But that's in the same town. If it's just something to do in the evening, they do um, they do orchard. Do you call pistachio places orchards? Or a farm. I don't know. Whatever you call them. They'll take their long golf carts and they'll do you little tours through there. We did not do it when we were there. Simply because it was cold. We didn't dress properly. And the one that had that was going out had just went out. 
and we didn't want to wait that long for them to come back. So we just got some delicious snacks. We did get some good snacks. We got some stickers and some magnets. The road again. And we got right back at it. Um, absolutely. Where did we stay when we were there? We actually stayed. I got my notes down here. White Sands Manu. Hang on, Maverick wants up here. <laughs> what are you doing, old man? Get up here. He's getting up here, old man. He's being an old man. Um, we stayed at White Sands Manufactured Home and RV Community. Yeah, I know that's long. That's why I wrote it down. But um, our view, <laughs> it was so crazy because I remember when we got there because we were in the other camper and it had a big picture window out the back, which now we have a toy hauler so you can just open it back anyway. But that one, we had a big picture window and it backed up to the most beautiful mountain range. Oh, we were at White Sands when we did the Wild Game Bistro. So it's 30 minutes up the mountain. So from we were coming from Carlsbad. Coming from Carlsbad, you got to go over the mountains. I think we passed it coming in there and we went back. The Wild Game Bistro is up the mountain. Up the mountain from um, White Sands where we stayed. So we went up, I want to say it was about a 30 minute, uh, about a 30 minute drive maybe to get up the mountain, but beautiful. Temperature, way different. Way different. Because you're such high elevation at that wild game bistro. But they had like bison, and just wild game, I guess you could say. But we did do that for lunch. There was only like one or two other people in there, I think, when we got there. We were the only ones there when we got there. So we were kind of excited thinking, oh, we'll be able to make all these videos while we're here. But we don't try to video when it's really loud places. So we didn't end up doing that. But it was it was pretty good food. Uh, and then we went back down the mountain and just enjoyed it. We just, White Sands was one of my, I want to say this, it might be my favorite of all the national parks we've done up to this point. It's definitely in the top three anyway. So, um, yeah. Carlsbad, you'll see that in another episode. Roswell, we did already post that when those are all New Mexico places that we went. Um, we spent, you know, a little bit of time in New Mexico. Um, so White Sands was the last stop that we did when we were in New Mexico. It was beautiful, phenomenal view. Let's see. White Sands was the last thing we did in New Mexico before we... Uh, packed up and headed towards Arizona. Mm -hmm. We uh, tried to go uh, in the White Sands uh, Missile Range uh, to check that out, but that <laughs> we got turned around on that one. We got rejected. So <laughs> we turned around there and kept trucking to Arizona. We already posted actually the video on Chiricahua, Chiricahua National yeah. Park. That is where we went straight from White Sands. So we went from straight some white, from White Sands to Chiricahua. That video is already posted, but that was Check that one out too. We, yeah, we ended up staying in Cochise County for a week because there was a lot to do there. You'll see all of that when you can actually sit and look at all of the pictures and see all just for like a few seconds some of those ripples in the sand. Absolutely gorgeous. So stay tuned. That's next. All right, so you're going to hit pause to read. Anywhere on here where I have pictures of the writings, you're going to have to hit pause because I didn't put it on here long enough for you to actually be able to read it, so hit pause. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about White Sands National Park while you're watching all of this. White Sands National Park is like no place on Earth. Rising from the heart of the Tularosa Basin is one of the world's greatest natural wonders. The glistening white sands of New Mexico. Great wave light dunes of gypsum sand have engulfed 275 square miles of desert. You heard me, 275 square miles of desert. That is a lot of sand, creating the world's largest gypsum dune field. White Sands National Park preserves a major portion of this unique dune field along with the plants and animals that live here. What are some things you need to know about this park? For one, it is not a park that you can stay at all night long like the Grand Canyon. The park hours are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and they are closed on Christmas. 
Also, one thing you're also going to know is they will be driving through the park and they will kick you out. Because when we were there, we went, you saw a couple of sunsets and absolutely they were driving through the park telling people, hey, y'all need to be getting ready to leave. So if this is something you want to do, just make sure that you know for sure that they close at 6 p.m. However, the visitor center and the place that you can park at the visitor center, it is not open except 9 to 5. Yep, government work right there. Something else that we mentioned earlier in the video that you really need to know is that the RV parking lot at the visitor center is so small, you're really going to be sketched trying to get in there. So if so, maybe just park on the side of the road so that way you don't have to worry about it. I don't know if you're going to buy a park pass or not, but if you do not buy the park pass, we're both veterans, so it was free for us. However, if you are just going to go to the park, it's $25 per vehicle and it will last you seven days. So if you're going to try to make a whole week of it, at least it's only 25 bucks. Another thing that I'm going to add is, unfortunately, you cannot actually stay the night at White Sands National Park. There are plenty of national parks you can. Unfortunately, White Sands is one you cannot. And I wish you could because I would totally sleep in the car if I could here because it's so beautiful. Oh, one thing that you might really, really, really want to check out is if the park is going to be open. As I mentioned, earlier it's only closed on christmas but they do close the park every time they test missiles <laughs> we told you earlier about the white sands missile range yeah well they close the park anytime they're doing missile runs or i guess testing would be a better word i mean not exactly somewhere you want to be when they're firing missiles or maybe that's just me but i mean <laughs> oh another super cool thing that i forgot to mention earlier is if you were going to be at white sands or in the area during a full moon they actually do park ranger led hikes through the white sands you can only be in the park after dark if you're doing this tour so if you have that option absolutely do it unfortunately we did not and i so wish we did because that would have been a phenomenal view yeah we wore maverick's butt out that day um anyway this is absolutely i would say in my top three of my national parks the, my top three i can't decide which is my favorite because my top three are phenomenal chiricahua we posted that video already that is in my top three white sands is in my top three and petrified forest which will be coming up in a later episode are all in my top three i just don't know how to pick between the three i just know they are my favorite but i can't figure out a number between one to three of these i mean you can see this sunset right i mean how could this not be one of your top three absolutely the most beautiful sunset i think i've probably ever seen in my life came from white sands national park without a doubt and check out those ripples in the sand it was just I just cannot explain how beautiful this place was. And I know our bucket list. We're trying to see every single national park. But if I ever have the opportunity to go back to White Sands. See, look at that. If I ever have the opportunity to go back to White Sands, I would be there in a heartbeat. And hopefully one day I can go back. I mean, just look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, there was also a... Uh, veteran memorial in the town of Alamogordo and I forgot to put any of those videos on here um I don't know if we actually got any videos but I did take that one picture and it was a really neat little area as well also these pictures right here they're on the top of the mountain the one that was in between Carlsbad and White Sands that I mentioned earlier so you're going to go through this mountain range to get there if you're coming from Carlsbad absolutely gorgeous view you can see the White Sands in the background um anyway um I think that's going to be a wrap for our White Sands video. Until next time. <laughs>